Hey guys, I've really enjoyed making this video. I got Alex here watching me editing this thing together. Uh, you got a great group of friends and family that really love you. And I have really enjoyed watching all of the submissions. So I hope you enjoyed as much as I did, even though it's not for me. But anyway, love you guys. Take care. And happy birthday. birthday. Bye. I appreciate them all very much. And I hope they uh, see this and realize that I love them. Uh, th thank you guys. Happy birthdays and anniversaries to all you guys. Love you all. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Chuck, Chuck Nicole, Nicole, and, and Christopher, Christopher from the Engstroms. Many more. Do you love Daddy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you like spending time with them? Yeah. Do you like when they come over? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like giving them big hugs and kisses? Mm-hmm. Yeah? I wanted to... Wish you all three a happy birthday and Christopher happy anniversary. And um, I hope that you feel how appreciated you are, all three of you. So thank you for everything that you do. And I love you all so much. Hello, Chuck, Christopher, and Nicole. This is Philip from Louisville, Kentucky. Happy birthday to all of you. Love you guys. Have a great one. That's what I appreciate about the three. It's my favorite memory of the three. Thank you for being my family. So what do I appreciate about Chuck? How he's always they've been there for me. Always making sure I get my stuff done. Always making sure I do good in life. Uh, what's my favorite memory of him? Is when we were at a uh, movie theater and we were playing a game of air hockey, and we were actually having like a super fun time. And I did win that game, though, but it was very enjoyable. What do I appreciate about Chuck? I, I have enjoyed seeing Ch Chuck interact with not only his kids, but his family, friends, um, just anyone around him. He is always a kind, generous, um, a very patient individual. And he approaches life with a smile on his face and a sense of humor. That is something that I think we all can learn from him. Good way to go through life. And that little bald spot on top of his head, I just want to rub it. So cute! Chuck, Chuck, I have met, I've met a lot of people in this world, and your family is among my favorites, so I'm going to hold you partly responsible for that. Thank you for creating some decent human beings in this world. Happy birthday, Chuck. I don't know what it's like to be 60. i got a few few more years under you, so um, I'll know soon. Happy birthday, celebrating 60 years. I know it's, you know, a few weeks ago. What a cool way to celebrate your birthday with your kids all around you. Love that, that your family's so close knit. And um, I appreciate that. As your kids have grown, that you still stay very close to them. That's the way I think family should be. So I do appreciate that your kids are all going to hang out in Las Vegas with you and each everybody's celebrating together. Two Julys ago in California visit, we were going to... Christopher was going to fly his drone. We were I was riding with you and Andy. We all couldn't fit in one vehicle. And we had to, I don't know, was it like a three and a half hour drive to get there because of the fires? Kept on going around and around and taking different routes. And I would have to say that was probably the first time that we had that much time to sit and chat and just talked about kids and parenting. I had a great time chatting with you. Just, just got to know you a little bit more, you know, I, not like we living across the United States, we ever got to talk that much. So I enjoyed that, that time to visit. And if I'm not mistaken, I think at the end of the conversation, you said, wow, you don't hold back on your opinion on anything, do you? And I said, no, if it's in my head, it's out my mouth. So that's me. Happy birthday. Enjoy it. Life is great. My most favorite memories about Crap Hey. Uh, I don't uh, I like his style. It's how he's made. Lyra, huh? what do you what do you like most about Grandpa? Yeah, Papa. Yeah, do you love Papa? Yeah. Hello, this is a video for Chuck Thompson. What I appreciate about Chuck Thompson, I appreciate that he married my sister Kathy, and they have five great kids. I also want one of my favorite memories about Chuck is when Kathy's got her first phone call from Chuck and he was looking for the wrong Kathy Coyle. 
And she actually went out on a date with him. And the history is five kids and being married to Chuck. Congratulations and happy birthday from the Stone family. This is a happy birthday wish from Patricia Duchin. I have known Chuck, uh, your family, for almost three decades. I've watched your children be some of them from babies on up to taller than I am, which isn't saying very much. But <laughs> anyway, happy birthday to both of you. What do I appreciate about Chuck? I appreciate him always coming out from Upland to help me when my car was in trouble or if I needed something done with the air conditioning at Mary's and Steve's or just hanging out with me on the weekends watching movies. He's just always there, uh, ready to help. Now, what's my favorite memory of Chuck? My favorite memory of Chuck is when we'd be driving around in the car, just me and him, or Andy, when he's in the back. And we would just drive, drive down the freeway or drive down the road. But my favorite memory is when we were driving and he almost crashed and had a handbrake onto the freeway. I thought it was very exciting uh, because I never saw his driving skills because I wasn't old enough or I wasn't born in that time where he had the nice car that he would drive around. But yeah, that was my favorite. I just want to say happy birthday. Um, I love you so much. Um, you're the best roommate I could ever ask for um, and the best friend I could ever ask for. Um, I love how we've grown together um, through freshman year soccer, not playing at all to senior year, um, having one of the best uh, senior years I think anyone could ask for. Um, and I couldn't have done it without you. Um, you there right by my side. Um, I love all the experiences we do together, um, especially Thailand. It's a trip that I'll never forget. Um, from going to the elephant sanctuary to eating crickets. <laughs> um, I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anyone else. So I love you so much. You mean so much to me. Um, and happy birthday. And here's to many more years of friendship. Bye. Love you. She always had like a place for me to be, always making sure I was okay. Like if something was going down, she just made sure I was all right. And she was just a loving sister. What's my favorite memory of her? Uh, basically most of the soccer games I was watching her play. It was quite enjoyable watching her just completely demolish the other team and just outperform pretty much everyone on our team. Favorite memory of Nicole. We had the pleasure of walking down the aisle together at Christopher and Rachel's wedding. We were obviously the best couple to do so. Good time. One time, I was traveling with Nicole. I think I was sitting in the back seat of her car and she was driving from Lynn's house to the valley where we both lived. We're in the center lane of the freeway and the car decided it didn't want to go anymore. It was like right there. So we're just dead in the in this center lane I'm looking around, cars are flying past us. I look behind us, there's a semi-truck. Looks like it's barreling towards us. I'm thinking we're about to die. I'm looking at the semi-truck, it's starting to slow down. Cutting it close. I'm like, hey guys, we should get out of the middle of the freeway now. They are busy laughing hysterically and taking out their phones to take selfies. Uh, The semi-truck stopped within like, I think, 10 feet of us. And <laughs> luckily. <laughs> so I'm getting out and trying to consider pushing us over or flagging traffic or something. They're still taking selfies and chit-chatting like we're out on, parked on the beach somewhere. Okay. Good times. Good times. Happy birthday, Nicole. I cannot believe how grown up you are. I remember meeting you and you came to Louisville for Rachel and Christopher's wedding and you seem like such a young girl. You were 16. You just seemed so young and over the last 10 years, seeing you grow up and become such a strong, independent, career-driven woman, I am so proud to watch you as you have grown over the last years, chosen a career, and just really just excelled in, in your career for sure. So happy birthday, Nicole, celebrating on December 12th. We know that. I, I just loved how close your family is, that you're all get, hang, going together to, to Las Vegas and going to be celebrating your birthdays together and uh, spending time together. I am so thankful that your family is so tight, tight knit and close. Love you, sweetie. Happy birthday. I like her style and I like how she's made too. Do you like how they spend time with you? <laughs> yeah, I like when I like to spend time with Grandpa and Kiki. Yeah. Mama Kiki. Yeah.
Do you love Kiki? Yeah, I do. Yeah. The thing I like most about Kiki or Nicole is that she's so involved with the girls. Still like spending time with Chris and I. And, and me. And I... She's so determined. And accomplished. And I'm very proud of her. My most favorite memory of Kiki or Nicole. We do crafts together for the holidays. Went to Vegas when I was pregnant. When you had your surgery on your knee at the Encino house, I felt like Hello. we connected as sisters, just kind of built from there. So proud of you for, for all your accomplishments and um, that you're so determined. Um, and I just love that about you. And so many more to add, but those make the top list. What I appreciate about Nicole is her ability to tell stories and how she explains things. Somehow she manages to walk the fine line of being completely animated and deadpan at the same time. It's great. <laughs> um, my favorite memory of Nicole is when we used to have sleepovers as kids and all she would ever eat at my house is bread with butter. <laughs> Man, how far she has come with her taste buds from then to now. I'm so proud of her. Hello, Nikki. And one of the things I appreciate about you a lot is that you played soccer at CSUN. And one of your friends married my son, which is fabulous. And I would like to bring up a memory about how you got your name. Kathy and I were discussing before you were born. We were both pregnant. And we were discussing the name Nikki. And Kathy chose Nikki, and you got Nikki, and Brittany became Brittany Nicole. So that's how you got your name. We both like the name a lot, and I'd like to wish you a happy birthday. Dearest Nicole, gosh, there aren't words to express uh, what an important part of our lives that you are. Um, you know, from watching you as a little girl, and your mom playing dress up and constantly dressing you as a baby doll, and you know, seeing you own your brothers all throughout your life, and knowing how much, I mean, they just adore you. You both certainly are the matriarch of your family now. I mean, wish your mom was still here. Gosh, you know, every day we wish your mom was still here. Um, but I guess it's good to have a guardian angel up above, watching out for your every step, and cheering you on um, and boy there's a lot to cheer on I tell ya you know, you know sometimes uh, you know significant loss will absolutely tear someone down and trauma will tear someone down but not you not you you know if anything it's made you stronger and it's made you this absolutely amazing person who values family above everything else I mean, I know there isn't a you know family get together that I host that you are not a part of, and you know, the family, the adventures that we've gone on from you know England and Ireland and the Czech Republic and Paris and England. It's just you know how dreamy, how dreamy that we've been able to share all of these adventures together, and you know, most certainly having you there has made them incredibly special. And how you know I hope we. You continue that tradition and I know as you have little ones you're gonna do the same thing and now watching you with the girls with Lyra Sky and um, Cara June and seeing you be that fantastic auntie and to know that you know I, I was able to influence that and um, knowing that you know, the difference that you can make in someone's life is just it means more than anything and it means more than anything to know that I've been able to make that difference in your life and how incredibly proud I am of you and all of your accomplishments, both with you know engineering and on the field and soccer and most certainly being able to juggle both of those really big balls at the same time and not drop either one and not only not drop them, but God, just rock it and just be the absolute best. So now, um, you know, another birthday, and I'm wishing you an incredibly happy birthday. Celebrate, celebrate. This is a big one. Because I know at this point you've got your professional engineering license. And that's just rock star. That's fantastic. That's amazing. Lots of celebrating to do this year because you've worked really, really hard. And it's going to pay off for a long time with, with the commitment that you've had and the love that you have and the zest for life that you have. 
and constantly again always putting love and family first and foremost couldn't be more proud of you I love you dearly and happy happy birthday now what uh, what do I appreciate about Nicole what I appreciate about Nicole is she basically controlled my style since I cut my long hair <laughs> As everyone probably remembers, I had long hair, very uncontrolled uh, from my senior year, and I just, I wanted to try a new style, and she finally got me to cut it, and been doing eight different hairstyles throughout my few years afterwards, and then clothing as well, like, everyone, everyone rats on my clothing, but Nicole does it especially. I'm kind of grateful for her, because... Now I have somewhat style. Not really though, I'm still working on it. My favorite memory of Nicole is when we'd be inside a house, basically teaming up on either Matthew or Andy and we'd just be laughing all the time. Basically just a family torture of each other. And me and Nicole would team up on Matthew. It was very fun and I just enjoyed being that close with my sibling. What I appreciate about Chris, how he's always putting up with my uh, BS along growing up. Because I'm now realizing I was probably not the best to him, but he always treated me nice. Uh, what's my favorite memory of him? Uh, I think seeing him when he came back from military service was probably my most favorite memory of him. Favorite memory of Christopher? Uh, one time Christopher and I went paintballing. We were on a field together on opposite teams, and I went running for this tube, kind of got in this tube-shaped concrete structure, and thought I was doing a good job until Christopher, I just feel a sharp pain in my side, pop, 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 Christopher tags me, but before I had time to like register that in my brain, I just got hit. Instinctually, I just turned and shot and hit Christopher. I didn't know it was him. I just turned and shot at the object. He He's like, uh, hit? Knowing that he just shot me first, and I shouldn't have shot him. I knew that. And I apologize later, but I need to publicly apologize. It's been on my mind. It's been eating away at me. You shot me first. I was out fair and square. I messed up. It was just an instinctual fire back thing. I didn't, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <sighs> I feel better. I just need to get that off my chest. You shot me first. Fair and square. Uh, I should say that's not my favorite memory of Christopher. I just needed to confess. I'm glad you guys gave me the opportunity to do so. Thank you. Happy birthday, Christopher. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, even though we know it's not until December 13th. I thought that was a really cool way to celebrate your birthday with your family. Better place than Las Vegas. I hope you win some cash to make it even more fun. Just wanted to say my favorite memory is the day that you came over to take Rachel out on a date. She was getting ready and you asked us, Philip and I to sit down. I thought you were acting a little antsy. Wasn't sure what was going on until you reached up above my refrigerator in a plant that I had up there. Had hidden the ring box up there. Showed us the ring and told us that you were gonna ask Rachel to marry you. I remember that very fondly. So happy birthday. I appreciate the privilege of being a nini. To Car June and Lyra Sky. Thank you for two beautiful granddaughters. Couldn't love them more. They are beautiful children. Thank you. Thank you for making me a, a Nini. Happy, happy birthday, Chris. So happy to be a part of this video montage that your lovely wife organized for you. Gosh, it's just fantastic to see how much she adores you. I adore you too. I love watching you, listening to your stories encouraging your creative ideas. I hope one day you get to create that fantastic house that you've always dreamed of. And your business ideas and how hard you work, your accomplishments, your engineering degree, your patents and how many more patents you're gonna have under your name. And you're watching you dote on Rachel clearly with just absolute love and caring for her and taking care of her and providing for the girls. You're a you know, fantastic dad, um, you know, like a wonderful husband and a great nephew. You know, thank you so much for being a part of my life and even though you're busy raising kids and working full time and I'm busy raising kids and working full time. Uh, you're always on my mind and you know, so glad that we can be a part of each other's lives and can't wait to decorate gingerbread houses and see what you have in store for us this next time and your wacky crazy ideas just don't burn down the house this time so again happy birthday to you and i hope it's a great one
Aunt Lynn. What do you love most about Daddy? I like his style, and I, I like the most about Daddy. I like his style, and I like how he's made it. Like and do you like how he works so hard so we can have a, a good house, a roof over our head? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like how he spends time with us? Yeah. He plays games? Yeah. And what else? Mm, that's all. Your turn. My turn? Yeah. Okay. The thing I like most about Grandpa, Chuck, is that he's so willing to help out anybody. He doesn't really think twice about it. My favorite memory of Grandpa or Chuck, he moved closer to us. Spend more time with him. What I like about most about Christopher is his hard work and determination to make it so that I can stay home with the girls. Getting up every day, even if he's sick, trying to go to work, even when the roads are blocked from fires. You know, nothing really stops him from going to work because he's so determined. <laughs> because, because he, because he's already at work. So he, it's just because something's blocking him to get back home. You mean? The thing I love most about Christopher is his hard work and determination. Um, he gets up every day, goes to work, um, makes it so I can stay home with the girls, sacrifices so much so that he can do that. And um, I hope you know I really appreciate that more than you ever know. And I love that you, you know, love spending time with us. My favorite memory would probably still be of our wedding. It was such a fun day. You know, we worked really hard to plan that and put it together. We've built our lives from there. And now we have two girls, a house, three kitties. So thank you. I wanted to make this video for all three of you to let you know that um, I appreciate you. What I appreciate about Christopher is his sense of humor and that smile that follows his jokes. You know, the one where he tilts his chin up a little bit and has that big old grin on his face. My favorite memory of Christopher is when we were all kids playing at Grandma's house and somehow Christopher managed to pin Nicole, Matthew, and I underneath a couch seat cushion by sitting on all of us. Man, I'll never forget it. <laughs> Hello, what do I appreciate about Christopher Thompson? I appreciate that Christopher kept my mom and dad very young. They enjoyed every moment that Christopher spent time with them while they were at their house. And one of the favorite memories I have of Chris was when he broke both arms and was still able to do everything. And I want to wish you a happy birthday, Chris. Chris, like I said, I've known you since you were a young man and Cub Scouts grown all the way through Eagle the army and now a family man with two young girls of your own um some of my fond memories of you it was in boy scouts i watched you build a campfire that wound up being a blaze taller than me i just want to say again happy birthday and a wishful many years to come hopefully another couple three or four decades who knows anyway the possibilities are there happy birthday and bye for now. Happy birthday, Christopher. This is Grandma, Grandma Leo. There's a couple of things I like about Chris. One is his uh, uncanny ability to have some very dry sense of humor, which only people with dry senses of humor seem to get. The other thing I appreciate about Chris is, uh, or that I like about Chris, is his uh, willingness you know, to always be wanting to help, uh, whether it's something small, like trying to help me repair the railing on my deck or something you know relatively important like walking around the entire neighborhood trying to shut down everybody's gas during the uh, earthquakes uh, one of my favorite memories about chris is during the last round of earthquake you know he showed up to my door looking like paul bunyan with a big old wrench probably about five feet tall trying to shut down my gas shut it down so well i couldn't get it back on the next day they had to call a gas company but hey that just means he did a relatively fantastic job and I really appreciate that. Either way, man, I hope you're having a great birthday and I hope you have many more to come because over the last of the course of the last eight months or so, you know, we've really gotten uh, relatively close to the Thompsons, you know, their family and their kids. Um, and uh, we're just actually 
looking forward to many more years of friendship and fun and laughter and game nights to where uh, Chris leaves highly inebriated and unable to walk and then forgets the gifts I leave him. But hey, man, freaking love you, bro. Have a nice uh, birthday. I appreciate him being an older brother figure. He basically shows the way for our family. Sometimes bad, sometimes good. When it comes to schoolwork, I was always told that he, he used to slack off, stuff like that, and it was funny to me. So he had a big, he had his uh, childhood was a lot more humorous for me. My favorite memory of Chris is when I was younger and I got out of school, and I remember him picking me up after a culmination from, I think, kindergarten to first grade. He drove me out to a Dodgers game. I remember him just driving his old beat up truck. I hadn't seen him for a while because I think he went to the military, and it was his first back first time landing back from like boot camp and yeah we just hung out for the entire day it was pretty cool so i've never had a time where i've been around him and he hasn't said something comedic or he himself has been comedic I remember lots of times where he's made some snarky comment goes over everyone's head at first and he's sitting there smiling away as people realize it and then we all do like 30 seconds later or times where he says something that he definitely didn't think about first and then we all laugh and realize it either way lots of good memories of him and then one thing that I remember about Chris really isn't like one specific event, but this recurring event that's happened easily since I was like, I don't know, probably ever since I started playing games, so at least like two thirds of my lifetime, is uh, you play a game with Chris and he manages to win like nine out of 10 times. I don't know why, he just did. You get to that point at the very end where he knows he's gonna win and all of us are realizing and there he is again, smiling and figuring it out. We all do and it's like, darn, he beat me, but. We all knew it was gonna happen. So yeah, lots of times. Chris, we've been laughing and appreciate everything he's done for me and I'd like to say happy birthday. Thank you, Chris. Hi, Christopher, Chuck, and Nicole, happy birthday. I just wanna wish you a happy birthday. And yeah, happy birthday. Bye, have a good birthday. Do I look okay? Oh, we started? No, oh, okay. Uh, happy birthday, Chuck. Nicole and Christopher, uh, you have fun in Vegas. Uh, more importantly, it's 2019. So when you watch this again, you don't forget what year it is and how old you were and uh, how much money you lost. All those things, enjoy your time together. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to your grandpa, grandpa, daddy, and Kiki. Happy birthday to you. And grandpa. You. Daddy, grandpa, and Kiki, yes. Can you say happy birthday? Yeah. Say happy. Okay, birthday. Okay.